Censorship blocks the expression of good ideas and inhibits the scrutiny of bad ones. It retards civilization. Our modern Western civilization is an icon to the worth and fruits that freedom of expression and freedom of speech can deliver. However, still in the background, there are those who would happily promote censorship, either legal or illegal, to protect their ideas from public analysis. Creationists have now clearly adopted the abuse of a legal instrument constructed for the protection of copyrighted material, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA, as their weapon of choice in attempting to censor those critical of their beliefs. Over the last year or so, at least five creationist organizations and individuals have filed multiple, multiple baseless DMCAs against work critical of them. All of those that were opposed were won by individuals who recognized the danger posed by allowing such abuse. The offending creationist organizations and individuals include Creation Science Evangelism, founded, of course, by the convicted fraudster Kent Hovind. Illustria Media, a subsidiary of the Discovery Institute. That's the creationist organization at the core of the intelligent design movement. Answers in Genesis and their frontman Ken Ham. Venom Fang X, of course, who filed over 150 DMCAs. And Eternal Media, among others. In response to this, we have formed a now multinational alliance. We have formed this alliance as a defense mechanism against the abuse of the DMCA. We have now pulled our legal knowledge, and it should be borne in mind that even as individuals, we were hammering these creationists on every baseless DMCA they filed. Secondly, we have decided to immediately name and shame any creationist organization who files a baseless DMCA claim. If you try filing a baseless DMCA claim, it is likely, given that we have maybe a hundred thousand subscribers between us, that maybe a million people will know about it within a week. Finally, it should be stated that every time you file and lose a DMCA claim, you just bring that time one day closer when one of you will end up in front of a judge for this. We defend reason. We defend Western values. And we defend freedom of speech from those who would limit it for dogmatic reasons. And now, due to this pattern of creationist behavior, we do it as one. The following is a message from a few of our number. Particular organizations and individuals appear to have demonstrated a track record of misusing DMCAs to censor comment and criticism. Even if you receive legal advice that you are likely to be protected under the fair use provisions, the idea of fighting a DMCA is not simply a legal issue. It's a commitment to stick it out against these organisations and their underhanded tactics to avoid criticism of their misinformation. After all, you have to hand over to them your personal details when you lodge the counterclaim. When I made that decision to stand up and fight against this misuse of DMCAs, I found that I was not alone. I'm not sure if we realise the potential we all have as a collective. I'm not sure if we realise that a collective action on all our parts is far more powerful than the sum of all our individual actions. The time for tolerating this misuse is at an end. Please feature, favourite and share this video in addition to the copies on our other channels. I grew up in a pre-internet world where any time you got into a discussion on any topic, whether it was history, science, religion, matters of social politics and scandal, whatever the subject was, whoever you were talking to might pull up whatever urban legend was necessary to back up his story at the time. There was no way on the fly to figure out what information was actually factual and what was just made up on the spot, statistic-wise. The only way you could find out, the only way you could find out was if you went to the library all day and perhaps not even then. So you had to give him. So you had to give them the benefit of the doubt, especially if they seem morally outraged by whatever fact they just coughed up. Back then, propaganda and emotional arguments with made-up statistics on the spot usually won.
These are the people who want to bridle internet information, the free expression of ideas, and prohibit or limit their spread through the general public. Controlling information and suppressing ideas is the means to manipulate the minds of the masses. But ethnocentric bigotry and religious and nationalist propaganda... But ethnocentric bigotry and religious or nationalist propaganda collapse in an unrestricted global forum. That's why some would seek to silence, censor, restrict, and restrain contrary comments while we need to preserve and promote your right to say whatever you want, whoever you are, and no matter how wrong I can show you to be. Hi, this is Andromeda's Wake. My subscribers and regular viewers know that I freely allow any and all comments, ratings and responses on my channel. And this is because I believe the only way to settle a debate is to allow everyone the right to speak. After all, when debate is genuinely free, the truth will always win. But there are those out there who seek to silence the opinions of others because their agenda is threatened by rational inquiry. That they refuse to acknowledge criticism is bad enough but their rampant misuse of the DMCA to extend their branch of censorship directly to the YouTube accounts of those who refute them is completely unacceptable. Sadly, because of these actions, free speech must be continually fought for. I urge you to oppose DMCA abuse and stand up for free speech on YouTube. Hi, this is Potholer54. If any of you have visited my channel, you'll know it's completely open for debate. Ratings haven't been disabled, comments aren't screened, anyone can post anything, good or bad, critical or supportive. And that's what I love about YouTube. It's a worldwide open forum that has the potential to change minds across the world and present new opinions to people who've been cloistered in narrow-minded communities and repressive regimes. At least, that's how it's supposed to work. And that's why I'm standing against the false filing of DMCAs and urging YouTube to take action against people who want to shut down channels and videos that challenge their beliefs. I have no objection to the legitimate protection of copyright, but this is an issue of fair use for the purpose of academic debate. In several cases, especially those related to creationist preacher Kent Hovind, Hovind himself specifically says that his videos are not copyrighted but when some YouTubers used clips of his material in order to refute Hovind, they were shut down because of false claims of breach of copyright. Let's get this straight. This kind of action has nothing to do with the protection of copyrighted material. It's a tactic designed purely and simply to shut up dissent, to silence critics and stamp on freedom of speech. If this is allowed to continue, then YouTube will eventually become just a boring mouthpiece of organizations that screen comments and shut down critics. This is your medium, people. Stand up for it. Hi, this is Vito Mega, and I'm stating my support for the campaign against the abuse of the DMCA. Censorship it is basically when you, sen you silence people who are critical of your opinions. The only time when censorship works is when you are infallible. Do you know anyone who's infallible? Fight DMCA abuse. Fight censorship. This is your YouTube. Stand up for it. This is Don Exodus. Censorship is a tool used by simple minds to mislead and misinform. If the facts and reason aren't on your side, it's very easy to win a debate if there's nobody to debate against. Please, oppose censorship in all its forms, whether it's the false filing of DMCA copyright claims, or simply deleting or disapproving of comments that disagree with your videos. CDK007 here. As many of you know, my channel is about the free exchange of ideas. I don't censor voting, comments, or video responses. However, there are those who are more than willing to suppress the speech of others in order to further their agenda. Since its inception, a small minority of people have attempted to manipulate YouTube to censor ideas they don't necessarily agree with. They have used a variety of techniques, but the false filing of DMCAs is the most insidious. We don't need to sit back and let these individuals steal our freedom. If we join together, we can convince YouTube to change its policies. How do I know this can work? After people realized they could suppress others by repeatedly down-thumbing every single comment under a video, 
we complained and YouTube responded. This time I'm asking you to do more than just think about it. Together we can make a difference. We would like to hear from you if you have been served with a DMCA notice that you consider was issued in order to prohibit free expression rather than to protect copyright. We would like to know how often it is happening, who served these notices, what happened as a result. We believe that opportunity for education, freedom of expression and freedom of speech are causes worth protecting. We want to do what we can to protect them. Please help us do that. Feature, favourite, share, rate and comment on the copies of this video on all our channels. Thank you.